Good news for all the domestic flyers who are planning to arrive in Delhi at one of the most busiest terminal of Indira Gandhi International Airport which is Terminal 1. Because they no longer have to worry about the peak hour struggles of standing in the queue for hours, their struggle is going to get over super soon because the airport operator dial Delhi International Airport Limited, a GMR group-led consortium on Monday, announced the completion of construction of the domestic arrival terminal, which they claimed will have enhanced passenger capacity. This project is part of Delhi Airport's Phase 3 expansion project. The newly constructed terminal will have four new baggage reclaim carousels, increased seating and waiting areas and ample parking space to make sure that passenger movement remains smooth even during the peak hours. Apart from these facilities, flyers will also experience modern toilets, huge space between baggage belts, greenery inside the terminal with ample natural light, lavish ceremonial VIP lounge, state-of-the-art meet-and-greet gallery, modern food court. Deputy Manager Director of DMR Group IP Rao in conversation with INS shed more light on the detail of the newly built terminal. We are over here at the new arrival hall of uh, Terminal 1. Terminal 1, the significance of this particular facility is that and this is a massive, massive expansion project under the Phase 3A of uh, the IGI airport over here and joining me today to talk about this particular facility which would be open for public within a week's time is uh, GMR Group's Deputy Managing Director, Mr. I.P. Rao, who is more efficiently in the in the aviation fraternity known as IPR. So, firstly, uh, welcome and uh, what can passengers expect uh, out of this particular facility? The passengers, when they come here, first they can find a good ventilation, natural light, the volume space, the good, good space. And another thing, important thing is they find any arrival terminal, fundamentally, they, they want ease of getting the bag. That's very important. How we can fit them a bag and go through the terminal comfortably without any hitting each other. So this building has given that comfort. Why? Two things. One is the belt length is increased from 50 to 70 meters. So that way more people can stand, made a code protocol, they can able to take the bag at a low height. So easy to pick up. So that's one good thing. Second thing, you see the, between the two belts, the gap has been wide enough so that what happened, even that people come out, they can have enough space to walk through straight. Today, what happened, exit terminal, there is no enough space between the two belts. So what happened, people are totally difficult to hit each other come, because that is a very old terminal. So as a GMR, we always, our endeavor is to get the best to the passengers every time. So this building has taken into that consideration of that. And second thing, and also if you look at the whole building, the design for, lead certified gold. It has multiple questions. See, one is we get the materials which is confined to the lead certification, but that's one part. The major thing is water. How can you consume the water using this terminal, the toilet, so many water using it? We go send for recertification. That means went to street to street and there we enhance the capacity and ensure that they come back to the recertification system. So that way we are using almost 80 to 90 percent of the water back in the system. So that way we are minimizing the discharge the system. So practically we are not in the loop of the environment, the groundwater. Second thing, we also look at the air conditioning. Air conditioning is very important, is high energy consumption. If you look at the so people ask so, so much of lighting is coming, so much of uh, facade is there, sir, so much of heat come inside. No, the whole facade is defined such a way that absolutely we have uh, index such a way we kept it. Heat the flat index is very low. That means bars of heat under an area from outside to inside is very, very minimal. So that way we will not have. Second thing what we also did using building management system, it control their kind of different requirements. Suppose more people are there, it can pump more air for you to get comfort. If less people are there, it'll reduce the height. So what happened because of that, one is comfort of the passengers maintain the temperature. Second thing what happened, it will also ensure the good energy saving. So this also gives her. And third and thing is entire lighting is LED. Yes. So that gives you a lot of energy. So with all the multiple factors, that's the way you need set for gold came because of that. And also in, in the building also completely we have put on the granary complete so that we get a soft touch. Otherwise, you know, steel and glass gives you a hard look for you. Yes. So because this granary gives you a soft touch for you. 
as a passenger seat something smooth oh i'm happy yes, sir. sir after 12 years you know terminal 3 was you know built by the gmr group and today it's the largest terminal in the country the most busiest terminal in the country this one is also going to be an integrated terminal so when will the entire terminal be completed and what would be the cumulative capacity of this particular terminal yes see what we, so far what we did at d3 said is fine now keep a requirement will keep going up so that's it. we had took this t2 t1 area is very old you know all of you know that old buildings are not we did only the terminal 1d we did as a part of t3 expansion but that is very limited so today we have about 10 million 20 million capacity we have right now existing but this will not sufficient for future growth so that's where once we complete entire terminal one expansion both arrival and departure one is it become a common terminal that looks common the passengers can comfortably can move one place to other place compact like t3 second thing the capacity from 20 million become to 40 million so that's where enough capacity available with the 22 euro bridge so people have comfort to so this will happen by next year but this come in phases will come it will not be overnight it come because the ground feel i have to build something break something to make something so is becoming a cycle so today when you see in this terminal old if you are I many of you may not remember old terminal 1b we used to be there jet terminal old that demolish that era we have done this now once i open this by next week i'll existing what you see terminal will arrival i'll break it Yes. Then you will extend the same thing. You see all the things that are actually the temporary wall. It's not a permanent wall. That will be demolished in carbon. So another six more belts will come. So that's how the capacity becomes 20 million of arrival. And departure will almost double the capacity uh, the area of the present building. That becomes another 20 million. So total becomes 40 million is going to happen by next year. Given the fact that uh, you had such a uh, tremendous task at hand since 2019 when this project began, you have faced covid you had this brownfield project in which you had to deconstruct to you know uh, construct this new particular facility uh, this will have 22 aero bridges countless numbers of uh, bus stands and others how was the experience you know going through it because i do remember terminal 3 was a greenfield project you can just, just simply you had the land you just had to you know construct that building but over here what were the unique challenges that you faced yeah good so well, of course pandemic is for everybody's problem We are. What are things we did? We created a bubble. Entire workers today about five thousand odd workers are there sitting. We created a bubble, so they will not allow them to go out. So we put them in the ones. Say. We ensure the complete facility, medical facility, including isolation facility. We also testing facility. So that way you see that whole wave two and wave three. We are not stopped the construction. We are able to manage. Of course. Because the COVID protocols, the protocol has come down naturally, of course. But however, we're able to manage. The, that is one of the biggest challenges. Second challenge is, of course, taking out energy asset is a tough challenge because passengers' income should not be there. So, created that phase was a tough challenge. So, these are the big challenges, which is going to come further more. But of course, it's a part of our journey. It's just a one last thing is the fact that uh, since medical experts and others have opined that. Uh, this might be the end of the tunnel for covid-19 and we are facing we are actually going to see a massive pent up demand for travel this facility coming up at this point of time would it actually help the entire you know airport complex in uh, maintaining its uh, position as the most busiest uh, airport complex Absolutely. in the country and uh, secondly uh, how do you see the industry as such today because this industry was the most battered industry by covid-19 Yeah, of course. We all know that the aviation industry is the biggest impact in this country, and not only for the whole whole world, no doubt. Airports are the biggest sufferer because the airports has to maintain. If there's for the one flight comes, ten flight comes, and we meet the same facility. So we are the biggest hitter. However, of course, we are a part of the aviation industry. We go. We hope that always hope is there always, and we hope that we'll come back to the pre-COVID levels by next year. So then everything will all right. So that's the reason whole thing we're making on that. So the wait of the flyers for ease of checking out of the airport will soon be hassle-free, more eco-friendly as the current domestic arrival operations will soon move to the newly constructed arrival terminal. This particular arrival hall is ready and geared up to welcome passengers by next week. Whereas the overall building of terminal 1 
in this particular airport complex will be ready by next year. It will add massive capacity to this particular airport. This is Rohit Vair with camera person Anupam for INS TV.